All right, what is up, everybody? Mr. Porkchop back here with another video. So today's video is gonna be a little different than uh, all the JavaFX videos I've been doing. Um, as I kind of indicated in my last video, my upcoming class is going to be um, data structures and algorithms. In that class, I'll be using Python. So today's video is going to be setting up Python inside of IntelliJ because IntelliJ is the IDE that I use most often. That's the one I really like, and uh, I am I can set it up inside of that. So if you guys want to follow along, uh, you're welcome to. So a lot of the I already kind of googled a few things beforehand and kind of watched a few videos, um, but basically most of the videos I found they um, they go over like installing IntelliJ and then setting up the plugin after or like almost in the same kind of step so today's video is going to be how to get that plugin if you already have IntelliJ set up so for me if I click on IntelliJ this is what comes up it's the the last project that I've been work the, that I was working on which is the one from all my previous videos um, so essentially from here you can hit control alt um, S I believe or just go to file and go to settings inside of your settings you'll have plugins right here and this is pretty much where you can just search for Python and you can install a Python plugin that's basically it very simple um, there are gonna be some other kinda steps that we're gonna go through to get it to like create our first Python project um, but for now that's installed so just click OK alright so I think I think the plugins in um, the other thing you guys are gonna want to do is actually go to um, so just go to like just Google search Python and uh, you can go to python.org go to downloads and just download this um, so I already have it on my computer but you're gonna want to do that as well so once you download that then you can add the plugin to IntelliJ and now let's just try to open a new project and now that we have our plugin we should have right here Python as an option um, so it says no SDK I should be able to just add it so this is the part I was a little unsure about. All right, let's see if that worked. Again, I, I did this on my laptop as well, and I actually ended up putting the plugin in before I downloaded that Python that I just showed you. If you do that, when you get to this step, at least on my laptop, it basically just gave me the option to download it from, from the web and it just downloaded it for me during this step and it was fine but it looks like it's all good there the SDK is now there so now I can create my new Java or my new Python project uh, I'll just call it test because I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing with this yet um, yeah it's probably fine just open this window I don't want to create another window okay yeah so that's it. All right, we have a uh, we have a Python project right here. So I think I can just create a new Python file. Uh, I'll just call it test. Whoops. No, I don't want to search for anything. I don't know why it went over there. All right. I don't know if the naming convention is right. I don't know if it's supposed to be a capital or not. Um, sometimes they're specific about that. I haven't really got into my class yet. Um, like I said, I kind of just peeked in it a little bit and uh, found that um, found that I was going to be using Python. So uh, I figured I would get it set up. I just wanted to basically do exactly what I did here, get it set up in IntelliJ, and be able to actually create Python programs inside of IntelliJ. So just uh, give me one second here. I'm going to pause this, and then we'll write a little bit of code in um, Python as soon as I open up my class and kind of find one of their examples. And I'll kind of walk you through that just to get like a very beginner's, um, you know, test of Python. All 
Okay, so here we go. I have like a little, uh, got a little example program up on the left here for my school. So we'll just kind of type up uh, something similar to what they got up here. It's kind of like, it just looks like a similar, like a, just a salary calculator kind of thing. So in Python, this is what's weird because I'm used to Java or C++. If you create a variable, I guess you don't actually have to specify what that variable is. You just you just type out a name. So like I could do wage is equal to 20 and there's no there's nothing after that, I think. Like that's pretty much it. You just put it there. And <laughs> that's so strange to me cuz usually like in Java you'd put like integer wage and then set it equal to 20 with like a semicolon you don't have to do any of that in python python you just type out exactly what it is you want so they have wage um hours obviously it's 40 hours in a week uh weeks we'll go with 52 weeks in a year uh, we're just gonna do 52 they have i think they have like 50 or something but whatever see if this works and then salary is just going to be all of those combined so they just have the asterisk I guess little star as the multiplication and that's it and then if you want to print it I guess we just type out print um, and then whatever we want to print here from what I read which again I haven't read too much into this you use single quotes for like short strings and then you can use double quotes for long strings and then if you want to concatenate things you just put a comma um, and then I can do salary and if I'm right that should all work oh my goodness what am I doing okay so this is kind of cool it's something I guess uh, I'm glad I waited and tried to run a program. So as you can see, there's the play, the run button isn't working and it says add configurations. This is something I ran into every time I start any type of new project. So you should be able to just kind of click down here on Python because um, this is a Python program. When I was in, um, when I did it with Java, I just put application, but for this, you should be able to just do this and then Run configuration error. Please specify script name. I guess. Oh, okay, maybe I just had to click on what what uh, the script, meaning the file that I'm using. Let's try that. Ah, all right, cool. It worked. All right, so. Hope you all caught that. <laughs> this is always the tricky part about starting new programs and uh, stuff like that is these configuration settings always screw me up. So anyway, we'll go back over to what I really did. Uh, I changed this to the SDK model, which I don't really know if, I don't know if it matters. Let me try to apply that and see if it still runs. Okay, so I guess that didn't matter. Um, anyway, you can have it on either or, I suppose, for interpreter. Um, the script path, just click on, just click the little file and um, go to the file that you're actually working on. That seemed to do it for me. Um, and then working directory was just basically wherever you have your, your program saved or your project saved. But yeah, that seems to work. All right, so it does everything, does all the calculations. That's pretty much it. I know it's just like a this isn't very useful as far as if you're trying to learn Python, but this will help you kind of set it up. So this will get you to the point where you can start writing Python code. So now you can find those other uh, tutorials out there that are probably a lot better that have um, much more as far as writing Python code. So hopefully you guys found this helpful if you're having trouble setting up a Python project inside of IntelliJ. Uh, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe if you want me to keep doing videos like this or if you enjoy these videos. Um, yeah, and comment if there's anything you guys want to see. Uh, I'll be doing more videos in Python just because of the class I'm currently in. And then after this class, I'll be doing my Software 2 class. Uh, so I'll be bringing, probably doing a lot more Java after this.